The emotional process of this film and the creative process were two different paths. Emotionally, at any given moment, I would have made the film. I would have dropped everything else to make this film with her. That was a, a deep desire for me since the mid-80s. From the creative point of view, there were handicaps. The biggest handicap is I could tell Pina that I actually knew how to do it and that I knew how to do it appropriately. Pina was expecting a lot and I had to tell Pina honestly because Pina could not be right. So creatively, I had a book. I did not know how to overcome the wall between her art and the magic of her art and my canvas. We never would have made the film probably if one day this wall had opened, a door had opened in an area where I didn't expect it, in technology. I saw the first 3D film, and while I was watching the movie, I realized that's what I've been waiting for. We were even ready to start shooting. Ready to start shooting the first tests with her own dancers and herself on her stage. The, the trucks were loaded. We were about to leave when the call came to our office, Mina died. The completely inimaginable. It completely, un un I mean, it was a deep, deep shock that no one had expected. And of course, it was the end of the film. And only weeks later, it dawned on me that wasn't in Pina's sense, and that wasn't what she had been dreaming of. And if the dancers themselves, even danced on the day that Pina died. They were all in tears, but they danced because Pina had told them, we must dance. We are lost if we don't dance. And I realized I had to take it seriously. And the plays that she had put on the agenda of the theater, they needed to be filmed. And they needed to be filmed for Pina, but also for this orchestra of her voices, her dances. They needed a different kind of work to overcome the shock and to overcome their lostness.